Hey everyone, welcome back. Before we begin here today, I just want to take a second to thank you for your continued support of the channel. I greatly appreciate it. As always, be sure to like this video and leave a positive comment down below. Now let's get started. So this will be our 40th part in this math skill series. And what we have going on here is we have to determine the area of the green region shown inside this circle. And we are told that arc CB is the circle edge with a center of A. So we have a circle that is continuing outside of this circle with a center of A. <clears throat> a to C and A to B are equal at six centimeters. And this circle that goes around this entire thing that we are actually seeing here has a center of O. And A, B, and C along or are aligned along the edge of circle O. And we are also told that angle A is 60 degrees here. So how are we going to find this green area? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to have to divide this portion up into separate little parts, and then we're going to have to find the areas for all these little separate parts. And before I actually get going in here, as you may know, listening to multiple videos here, that this is not the only way that you can do this problem. This is just one method in order to solve this problem. So our area in green, which is what we are looking for, can be found by the following. So we would have our area of our overall circle, which is circle O. We would have that, and then we would have to subtract off the yellow area, and then we would have to subtract off the blue area, and you may have guessed it, and then we would also subtract off the red area. So in order to get most of this information, what we have to know is we have to know the radius of circle O. So once we get the radius of circle O, this kind of opens up um, a lot of this information that we can find very quickly. So let's work on getting the radius of circle O. So if I draw this point, let's say that is point O, that is my center, I would have my radius would be here from C to O, it would also be from B to O and the same thing down here from A to O. This would all be my radius. Now, <clears throat> since angle A is 60 degrees and C to B are both, or sorry, C to A and then A to B are both six centimeters here, that means that if we were to draw and complete this triangle here from C to B, we would have an equilateral triangle forming here since this is 60 degrees and we have two sides that are equal here. That would mandate that this would also be 60 degrees <clears throat> and this would be uh, six centimeters across here. Now, also, since this equilateral triangle is inscribed inside this circle and the points from each corner of the triangle are exactly the same to the center of the circle, we can find the center of this circle, the radius, via this equation. So this would be cosine of 30 degrees would be equal to my length of six centimeters divided by two, all divided by r. And the way we can do this is that we can do like this. This is 30 degrees down here for half that angle. And then this dimension from this point to A would be three centimeters. And the reason why we can do this is because our equilateral triangle is inscribed inside the circle and the centers of the triangle and the circle align. So when we bisect perpendicularly here, this will become three centimeters in length and we can use this little right triangle that's forming here, utilizing this equation to find R. So rearranging here, R would just be two square roots of three centimeters in length. Alrighty, so now that we have the radius, we can find the area of the entire circle, which is our very first thing we were looking for. So the area of circle O will just be pi r squared. So just be pi times my radius of two square roots of three centimeters squared. And that gives me 12 pi centimeters squared. And I'm gonna star that for right now because we're gonna need that later so we can find it. All right. So what's the next thing that we can look at getting here? Well, let's look at getting our blue and our yellow areas here. We know that this is 60 degrees right here. Well, the blue area and the yellow area, because of the equilateral triangle, are going to be equal in area. The thing that we can do here is that we can find one of these angles right here 
And this would just be our circle sector area for the yellow and the blue. So all we need is this angle right here. Well, how are we going to find that? Well, we're going to use triangle COA to find out what this angle is because now we know the radius, which is this side, this side, and we know that this side is six centimeters. We know that this angle in here is 30 degrees. So utilizing this information, we can get what this area right here is because, well, this is also 60 degrees total, which means this is also 30 degrees over here. So this angle right here and on the opposite side in the yellow would just be 180 minus two times 30, which gives us 120 degrees. So this is 120 degrees, this is 120 degrees. So now we can get the circle sector area for yellow and blue, which will be exactly the same thing. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and let's do this. So blue area will be equal to my yellow area, which would be equal to 120 degrees over 360 degrees for my circle sector area percentage multiplied by pi r squared, which is two squared, so three still squared. So this pops out to be four pi centimeters squared for each of those areas, not total added together. All right, so we just really have one more area to determine here, and that's the red one, because we have the total circle, we have the blue, we have the yellow. Now we have to determine what this red is. So how do we get the red area here? Well, the red area will be equal to the area of this overall sector involving the red portion, which also involves the green, minus off triangle, or let's go area, area of triangle AOC, and then we're going to also subtract off our area of triangle AOB. So what we're doing here is that we are looking at, let me see if I can't, you know, it's too colorful, let's just stick with black. So we are going to be finding this right here as our area of our sector, because remember this is a circle forming here with a center A. So all we have to do is find that area of that sector, subtract out this blue portion right here, subtract out the yellow portion right there from those two triangles, and what is left will be my red area. So let's go ahead and let's start working on that. Alrighty, well, the area of my triangles are going to be once again exactly the same. Well, because the angle is exactly the same, we have an equilateral triangle, so the lengths are exactly the same. So the triangle AOC will be equal to triangle AOB here. Well, how do we determine the height here? Well, this would be the height of our triangle, and we already have that kind of set up before and the reasoning behind how we would find that. So what we would do here is that H would just be equal to the sine of 30 degrees. Well, actually, how to find h would be using this equation of sine of 30 degrees is equal to h over my radius of two square roots of three. So my height is just square root of three centimeters. And that's what this would be right here. So I have the length here, which is just six centimeters overall. And now I have the height of each individual triangle. So my triangle area for AOC will be equal to the triangle area of AOB. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here is it will be one half times my base times my height. So square root of three centimeters times my base, which is just six centimeters here. And that gives me three square root of three centimeters squared for each of those triangles. Alrighty. So what about the area of the sector? Well, we have our angle already It's 60 degrees. So, and we have our radius of the circle, which is just the side of the equilateral triangle. So the area of my sector where the center is A would just be 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees, 
as my portion of my sector multiplied by pi times the radius of that circle squared, which is just the length of my equal lateral triangle, which is six centimeters squared. And this gives me six pi centimeters squared as my overall area for the sector. So the area in red would just be the area of my sector of six pi centimeters squared, subtracting off two times the area for each of these triangles. So three squared of three minus off three squared of three for each of the triangles. And it doesn't come out to be a nice number. So we're just gonna write it as six pi minus off six square roots of three centimeters squared. All right, so now that we have the red area, we have the blue and the yellow area, and we have the overall area of the circle. So we just have to take this 12 pi squared, subtract off four pi, subtract off four, four pi, and then subtract off my area in red, and that would give me my overall area in green. <clears throat> so my green area would be my overall circle of 12 pi, subtracting off the blue sector, subtracting off the yellow portion, and then subtracting off my red portion, which is six pi minus six square roots of three. And what you have to be careful here is that this minus will turn that into a plus inside there. Easy mistake to be made. So we end up with six square roots of three minus off two pi, and that would be our exact answer, centimeters squared. But if you want to approximate it out, it would be 4.109 centimeters squared as our final answer for that area in green. <clears throat> That's how you would solve that particular problem. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a new math skill along the way. And if you want to test your abilities even further, please check, check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video and leave a positive comment below. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel, and I hope you have a fantastic day.